Hey guys, Paradox Gaming here, and today um, I'm doing another Python tutorial. Well, uh, I've already written it out for me, uh, written it out for you, because I don't want to like have to go back and rewrite something if I get something wrong. Well, not really getting something wrong. It just it makes sense to change it later on. So I decided to write it all out first and try it. Yeah, it works. This is the thing. Ready? So it's a Dart game. First thing we need to do is import random because we need to do a random number generator. <coughs> do a list of numbers. And uh, player one turn equals true, of course. Okay, so print what is player one's name? So it's going to ask you a name and you input the name. Let's actually run it um, while this is happening. Um, okay, let me just show you. What is your skill level? Um, bracket, and then it does a, your actual name you just inputted. 10 lowest, 1 being the highest. That's how inaccurate you are. Basically, your skill level represents. If you have 10, it will do a random number generator. 10 below your number and 10 above. Unless it's 60 or 0, of course. Uh, while true, skill level equals input, then it's going to try and make it an integer. If it can't, it will say print, you must enter a number between 1 and 10. Else, if skill level underscore 1 is greater than 10, or skill level underscore 1 is less than 1, print, it needs to be a number between 1 and 10. Else break, then it will get out of that loop if it, follows, if it follows all of these. Ok, print, what is player 2's name? And it repeats the same process for player 2. This is player 1's score, player 2's score, they all start 501 in the dark game. So shots equals three. If player one underscore score equals zero, or player two underscore score equals zero, break. So it'll break out of this statement. But uh, neither of them do so far because you've set them to five hundred and one. So while player one's turn is equals true, um, print what score are you aiming for? And then does your name. While true, attempt equal input, and it's going to try and make it an integer. So if it's not an integer, I, it'll print. It has to be a number between zero and sixty, no decimals. Else. If attempt is greater than 60 or attempt is less than 0, print it has to be between 0 and 60. And it'll break. Points then equal a random dot round end. And this is a random number. And it takes your attempt, the number you wanted, and it subtracts the skill level of the player. And it does it between the number attempt minus the skill level and attempt plus the skill level. So if you have them a, a skill level of 10, which is the lowest. Um, it will do it 10 above and 10 below, so you can get 20 different possible numbers. But if you do one, it can only be out one by one place. So if you put in a number, if points are greater than 60 afterwards, so if you put in 60 and you get 70, it will just set it to 60. And if points less than zero, it will go to zero. You scored uh, plus STR points. Uh, yeah, this is a simple way of doing it. And then it will subtract the points from your score. If score is less than zero, the uh, player's score must add to points. If player 1 equals 0, it will break, and it will go up here, and it will realise, oh, score does equal 0, so it will break again, and it will go down, and it will print, if player 1 equals 0, print player 1, you win. Else, print player 2, you win. Okay, so done then. And then while player 1 turn equals false, it's going to print the exact same thing with player 2 in attempt, except else, if it does work, and it will break out of that while true, it will check the points. So now let's run it. Ready? Okay. So this is this is it as we play it, really. Okay. So what is player one's name? Right there. So we'll just put in Toby. What is your skill level, Toby? Ten the lowest, one the highest. Okay, I'm gonna do one. Okay, what's player two names? Uh, let's do Torchlight Fire. Uh, yeah. What is the skill level of Torchlight Fire? Ten lowest. Uh, quite long so it's printing out the name because we set it to the assigned to the variable okay we'll do 10 of because he's terrible what score are you aiming for Toby um 60 and it does okay I scored 6 points 60 oh I scored 59 since I've only got uh my skill was 1 when it gets to this point it's only subtracting 1 so my minimum could be 59 maximum 61 but if it is 61 it'll just set it to 60 so 2 out of 3 times I should get 60 Oh, it, was, it was the other way that time. You have 323 points remaining. Um, okay, now we're doing George of Ice turn. Uh, so it's ran out of, basically, I've ran out of shots. If shots equal zero, player one turn equals false. So this is no longer met, and it'll go down to this one. While it equals false, it's player two's turn. Uh, what? 60, 60, 60. Now that he's way off. That's the minimum you can get. So it's a lot harder to win, because if you type in like zero, and you want to get a zero to win, or say one, because you have one point left, 
if you do get the one, you win. But you might be, you might get a zero, you might get a ten, you might get what you don't know. It's very hard to win with a skill level of ten. Um, what are you aiming for, Toby? Mm, sixty, sixty, sixty. Oh, I got sixty or three times there. Nice. Sixty, sixty, sixty. Oh, we got sixty twice there. Sixty. 60, 10. You have 14 points remaining. Okay, what are you scoring for? Um, he's aiming for 60, 60, and 50. And you have 7 points remaining. Okay, I'm going to go, since I only have 11 points, let's try 3, and then 6. Also, I've done 9, 2. Oh, I know I have 11. Oh, I've only done 10, so... Wait, what? Oh no, I scored 11, I have 14 points remaining, sorry about that. Okay, so the next part, I have 4 points remaining. I need to get 2, a 1, and a 1. Oh, I'm scared. Um, He's got to get... Hmm. Let's see if we win this, I don't care. So let's just try this out, ready? So... I'll come back with an improved form and I might leave a link to a Dropbox if I can get my Dropbox working anyway. I've never used it before. So if if he has seven points remaining, let's try two. Let's try two again. Let's try two. Well, does that work? Because if he scored nine, he would have gone to seven. If he scored ten, he would have subtracted ten. Minus three and he would add ten. So I guess it would have been seven. That's correct. <coughs> Well, it would have subtracted nine. And it wasn't four points, it was seven, so he had two. And it added ten on, it would have been eight. Oh no, because it was nine. He would have added seven. Yeah, I get it, yeah. It works. It actually does work. Yes, I'm happy about that. So let's see if I can get it. One, one, one. Oh, you have three points remaining. Got zero twice. Blah, blah, blah. Wow. What are you aiming for, Toby? I'm aiming for one, one, one. Oh my god, okay, what are you aiming for? He's aiming for the word, word. Aiming for the word, word. Toby, you win. We did it. We did it, guys. We did it. Oh, I'm so happy that works. Okay, nice. Okay, now I'll be back in a few minutes with an improved form of the game. So it actually, you pick the number on the dartboard and you can get a double and a triple with your left. Okay, I'm back with the edited <coughs> one. This one is the realistic one. So it does all the same here, and it says, okay, so you have to pick a number between zero and, tw zero and 20 this time. That makes sense, of course. So really, uh, it does all the same, you know, what are you aiming for, zero and 20, it's not in numbers, it has to be between zero and 20, and then you a single, double, or triple, you pick that. Basically, you need to pick a type if it's not in choice, because choice is the list of the types. If it's not, it will ask you to do it again. If type is single, chance, this is where it does the randomness equals random dot random one to ten and if chance does equal ten it prints you wobbled a bit points equals random dot choice numbers so basically you have to pick a random number for you it might be the same again it might still be ten else points equals attempt so it still equals what you wanted to and if type equals double chance equals random dot random one to ten if chance greater than six so basically seven eight nine or ten you have a two and fifth chance of wobbling and if you do your points will still be times two. It's basically like moving your angle. It's still it's like a circle. Sh it's like you're making a circle basically because it's still the same distance around the disc. It's just yeah, you you wobble a little bit and you hit another times two point. So it'll do a random number. And if you're lucky, it might do the same one again. But that's like one. What is that? One in ten. Does one in ten? 
Yeah, there's still a higher chance of you getting that number than anything else, I think. Else points equals attempt times two. Yeah. Else chance equals round dot round in uh, one to ten. I still this is the last one, so this is LF type equals um triple. Is the chance greater than four? So it's only three, two, or one. There's a three in ten chance of you getting the number you want. Otherwise, you wobble a bit, and it does a random number, and it times that number with three. So you get a, th uh, a triple of any number. Else, it just does your attempt. Then it prints the points you got, so you can work out because you know it'll be a triple or double or single. You can work out what number you actually got. And if it's less than zero, add it on. Does all the same here. If shots equal zero, uh, blah, blah blah false, um, and eventually you can win. It does all the same. Still works like the other code. I've just changed some bits. That's the proper one. There might be a link to my Dropbox in the description if I can get it working, so you can just download this straight away. But I'm not sure if that'll work. So, um, yeah, uh, you'll find out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.